it will impress you to know that the devil cannot tempt you with what you don't like. So, why is it a temptation? Because you already have a tendency of going towards that thing. It's because you already like it. Do you understand? So the devil couldn't tempt Jesus with bread until he was hungry. There are some guys that ladies is a problem. Once they just see a woman, the anointing comes upon them. There are guys that once they see women, they can't keep themselves. There are guys that they don't care. I know it's those kind of guys that the women like even more. Amen. But the ones that don't care, you realize that you cannot tempt them with something like that. But the ones that pay attention, they're the ones that always come in, Pastor, I don't know, I don't know. I've prayed. I've this. I've that. Pastor, it's not working. I just cannot stop it. I'm telling you that you like it. That's why you are falling into it. And the only thing that can couple and put that appetite in check is balancing God's word. Balancing doctrine. Prayer and fasting put together cannot change it. You from the mountain run into what you just run out from until you begin to get access into God's word. Your flesh wants it. Have you not read that the Bible says the spirit lusted after the flesh and the flesh after the spirit? The desires of the spirit and the desires of the flesh are not compatible. Temptations. Why is it that it is that day that you are fasting that your mother is cooking chicken and fried rice? As in, as if you plan it. And then you now, you now forget. How can you forget that you are fasting? Then after I take one, we say, ah, Jesus. Ah, Father, forgive me, forgive me. Put another one. And I'll be the first one. Oh. But it is a temptation because your, your flesh already longs for it. Glory to God. The only thing that can put that appetite in check. It's God's word. Balance in doctrine. Balance in doctrine. That's why the Bible says, see, when you commend people to the word of his grace, there are plenty prayer points that we reduce. Plenty. 